Sneaky Lewis back in today, yeah, back again with another one for you. <clears throat> this one's an alpha, an alpha, an alpha, a long way before release. This is a Lubuntu 1310 Saucy Salamander Alpha 1. Alpha 1, yeah, baby. Now, on the whole, as you can see, there's not much too different, really, when you think about it. It's just going to be Lubuntu, but it will be faster. There's a few things that will be different, and I'll tell you that in a little while, and we'll get some of the arguments out of the way before we even start, okay? Now, as you know, Lubuntu runs on really, really light hardware, so you can run, and when you run it, it goes... Like that, you know, getting up there. Okay, I've installed some stuff. I've actually installed the system. <clears throat> well, I've installed some stuff, and we're going to check it out, make sure it all works, which it does, okay? This is going to be a short video, as I said before, because it is only the alpha. Okay, I've installed the Lubuntu Restricted Extras Pack, and with that comes Chromium, because they've dropped Chromium for Firefox 22. Oh, yeah, baby. And the Lubuntu's going the other way. I didn't know what the hell was going on there, really. Anyway, I've not even installed anything here, so Archive Manager, Character Map, the usual stuff that you find in Lubuntu. All I have found is, is reasonably stable and reasonably fast, too. For an alpha, very really good. I must admit, the um, canonical based distros, which are going to be Lubuntu, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, anything with Ubuntu on the end, have now began to get really quite stable in this sort of in alpha and beta state. Whereas a few years ago, or maybe four or five years ago, you wouldn't even dream of it, you know? You wouldn't do it. Under graphics, <clears throat> Sorry, Document Viewer, Empty Paint, and Simple Scan. I went back to games. It's all the usual games they put in there. It's just like the solitaire ones. No different there. It's still what you like. It still works. Right, and the internet. As I said to you before, I've installed the Restricted Extras, so that pulls down Chromium. I don't think that will happen in the final release. They were just going to stick with the Fox. Okay, we'll open the Fox up for you. And there we are. Looks slightly different, doesn't it? I like a new theme on this as well, by the way. Yeah, you can download yourself. Blah, 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 blah. I've bookmarked the Ubuntu page so we can see what we're going down. <clears throat> I don't think that's the one I wanted to book, actually, but hey, okay. Remember, it was released last week, okay? Last week. Yeah, last week it was, but everybody just started doing stuff today, okay? <clears throat> so we're going to go to the release announcement, which is here, which is what we want to see. Right, <clears throat> and I'll go for it. Before we start, they're not going to use Mir or Wayland just yet, okay? Just yet. They're not even going that way. As far as I know, <clears throat> so I don't get beat up in four or anything again. As far as I know, they're going to stick with X for the next two releases, and then maybe go with Wayland afterwards. But we're going to have to see how development goes, aren't we? And it's the same with Mir through Ubuntu. They say they're going to put it in. Is it going to work? Is it going to be there? Who knows? Nobody bleeding knows, do they, really? In the day. Because nobody tells anybody anything anymore. So software updates are Chromium browser has been replaced by Firefox. I just told you that. X screensaver has been removed, and ZRAM has been added. Okay, so you can actually install it with a graphical interface on lower RAM machines. Got a snapshot of the 3.9.0.7 Ubuntu kernel, yeah, which is remix for Ubuntu. Oh, it's going to go upstream as well, blah, 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 blah. And there's some new stuff for ARM and stuff like that. I had no issue with the USB creator because I've also done a USB creator. And of course, there's no new artwork yet because it's an alpha. What do you expect, basically? Anyway, installed fine for me. Of course, if you're going to try and get it around the box with your correct screen resolution, you're going to have to add quite a few bits and bobs, okay? You're going to need DKMS and GCC before it even thinks about it, and it won't install the driver for VirtualBox <coughs> from itself. You have to get it yourself and do it that way, the old-fashioned way. Apart from that, yeah, it all works, no big deal, okay? On real hardware, it flies, as also I told you before, yeah, but I'm telling you again just because I didn't. I've got it on two machines because I've got another new test machine, so, you know, phew, I'll just give it a go. Installation took minutes, yes, minutes, and it is still a CD size ISO. They're not gone with the DVD here because they don't actually have to, okay? But as yeah. Anyway, as I said to you before, I've installed all the default stuff and stuff like that, so if I quickly go to YouTube and put me in, I can run you a quick video and show you what's going down. Yeah, I'm in the UK, baby. That's me, yeah. So put me up here. And I should come up. Here we are. There's me. Blah, 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 blah. Should we got that one? That one I do, yeah. And it should play just fine, yeah. Just super duper of the fire. As you can see, I've got a nice big screen, yeah? It's actually nothing that fills it just yet. No, not yet. Yeah, 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 bleeding adverts. Could I just play just the advert? I could do, couldn't I? No, I could just put me on as well. And off we go. With the vid photo, I could just forward that, can't I? Should we do that? Make it bigger for you? I can make it running at a high resolution if you want to, if you go to 720. All my videos are now in 1080, by the way, before you even ever think about it. Da! So, yeah, be that good now, isn't it? Yeah, so that works all right. Uncle Dory. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Here you go now. Thank you, bye. 
What else can I tell you? <clears throat> Not a lot, really. Lupantu is going to be stable and out there for a long while, as far as I'm aware, okay? Everybody's happy. Oh, I told Asunder to rip some CDs. Works fine. And Clementine, of course, to play them in, just to make sure it all worked hunky dory in the old software centre. Because some people don't like the software centre. I don't mind, actually. It's all right. Then again, the Synaptic, if you really want to use it anyway. So, as it's an alpha, I can't actually rate this, okay? I'm not going to rate it, but I think you'll see come October, end of October, when it's released full and it's all sorted out, this will probably be the number one Buntu for a lot of people. Because I've not seen any snapshots of the XFCE version, really. That also needs a bit of an update. So, yeah, we'll go from there. So, anyway, yeah. Lubuntu, Saucy Salamander, 1310 Alpha 1. It's super duper. Nicey, nicey. See you later. Bye bye.